I saw you in People. Really? Uh, yeah, well, I do a lot of BMW Did you drive stuff. it? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Is it? It's zippy. It's all up. What is internet? What's wrong with you? <laughs> 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 I didn't even say the internet. I know. I am shooting a BMW i3 commercial, something I have never done in my entire life. I've never been in a commercial, and uh, it's been really fun. Because I have had very little experience doing commercials, which may come as a shock to you, I had no idea what to expect. Um, but I guess it's pretty much like putting together any little piece of production or piece of video. You have to do a lot of takes. Um, and you have to really pay attention to detail and I can't wait to see how it turns out. It was a lot of fun going down memory lane with Bryant. Uh, I love him. We had so much fun together on today's show and it was like a reunion of sorts. It made me remember all the good times we had and how we would occasionally get on each other's nerves but um, all in all it was a really wonderful experience to be back together again. I thought it would be really great to inform people about an electric car. I remember seeing a movie, Who Killed the Electric Car? And it's exciting that it's alive and well for people who want to use this technology. And of course, it's great for the environment. So it's fun to, to tout something you really believe in. I try to be smart about it. I try to be, uh, I try to recycle, I try to, not use a lot of electricity. I try to be mindful of the environment um, in my daily life. I think, like many people, I could do more, but um, it's nice that the technology is being developed that allows you to do more. And that's why, you know, I think we should all embrace these changes um, a little more than we embrace the internet. Well, I think the world has changed so dramatically, and I think many of my friends probably wouldn't have really understood the internet back in 1994 either. I think it's easy to say now, oh my gosh, how did they were so clueless, but so many of us Can were I have your clueless. Ms. Go away. <laughs> and so, you know, I think that uh, it's amazing when you look around at all the changes that have happened and how technology has really changed everything in our lives. I think it's amazing. And uh, so, yes, I can't, on, sorry, he just distracted me, <laughs> sorry. Um, in some ways, I can't believe how much things have changed. What we used to do without cell phones and computers and being able to do things so instantaneously. And it's really disrupted almost every aspect of our lives. So I think I didn't see it coming clearly, but now that it's here, I think it's very exciting. I think my dream road trip would be going cross country with my daughters and really seeing America and, you know, from sea to shining sea. I think that would be so fun. I'm not sure how they would feel about it, but it's something I would really like to do with them. Um, I'm doing my very first commercial. You know, uh, for a lot of years when you work in the news arena, you're not allowed to do commercials. And uh, so now free of that restraint, uh, BMW was kind enough to extend an invitation. Um, my agent asked me what I thought of it. I said, it sounds like a lot of fun. Um, BMW made it easy, made it attractive, and here I am. Actually, it was, it was a lot of fun. She and I see each other socially a lot. I don't know about a lot. We see each other socially. And we, we had dinner together a week ago Tuesday. Um, so, for point of reference, like 10 days ago. And, uh, and when we saw each other, we started giggling, talking about how much fun we're going to have doing this. Um, and I think the nice thing about it was BMW kind of 
no, knew going in that we weren't actors, and they didn't ask us to be, so they just asked us to be ourselves and, and shot it, and, and that made it fun and easy for us. The very first Super Bowl I worked was Super Bowl seven, as in seven. Um, and while no, it wasn't in black and white, it wasn't far removed. Um, and no, nobody ever cared what the ads were, really. Um, and back then, since I was involved in sports, we were so preoccupied with the production of the game and everything attendant to it that to us the ads were irrelevant. Um, now we live in a time where not only is the winner declared of the game, but the winner is declared the morning after of the ad derby. And people pick their favorites and their losers and everything else. And so it's, it's kind of nice to be in that competition. Um, look, we had fun with it. No, you know, it's interesting. I was telling someone, they asked me, people are inclined to, to ask, aren't you embarrassed about that clip or aren't you angry about that clip? And I say, no, I, I'm not at all. Um, I'm amused by it because I, I think that we were um, very much like most Americans, which is we didn't really have any idea what it was. We kind of heard about it. We didn't know it was going to be a part of our lives. And, and things move so rapidly now that, that the future is, is literally shifting under your feet. And you're unaware of it. And so, no, I, I look back at that clip um, with amusement more than anything else. I don't know. You know, like everybody else, I watched the Jetsons years ago, and so I kind of thought we'd be in a jet pack, you know, flying over things. Um, I, I guess one day we'll get there, but for the time being, the electric car is a great way to go. We had a great day today shooting with Katie Couric and Brian Gumbel, a spot for the I-3 for Super Bowl. And it's the premise that in 1994, people just didn't know what the internet is. And there's such a great parallel with electric mobility today. We're at that verge of something great just starting, but people haven't quite figured it out yet. So it, it's a really great spot that shows some of the parallels of what we were what was taking place in 1994 with the internet is exactly what's taking place today with electric mobility. It really just makes perfect sense for BMW this year. The Super Bowl is a great awareness builder. One in three Americans will be tuning into the big game. And electric mobility really needs that awareness driver. We really need to educate people on the power of electric mobility for the future.